So it's going to go into the general uh, general procedure of fitting a glow plug. So every vehicle is going to be a different procedure. So always refer to your service manual or the repair manual book um, for the correct procedures and all that. So. Basically, with the glow plugs, you've got the power cable comes down. So this is positive, and then the glow plugs are earth through the body, uh, through the block, and through the head. So you always either want to one disconnect the battery, or like I've done here, just taped up the positive so it doesn't arc out and kill any fuses. So I've loosened all this off. Um, I'm going to take this bar off. So these, these parts here are always uh, a reusable part, you don't need to replace these. There we go, so now we've got along here the four glow plugs for this vehicle. So always be very careful when you're taking them off or playing around this sort of area, you don't want to try and damage it or strip because if you do strip one of these taking it out or, or refitting it you're more than likely going to have to take the head off, go get it re-sleeved and tapped out so you can put a new glow plug in there. So we'll go along, remove these glow plugs, have a look at them and um, go back into the fitting. Another thing you want to <coughs> notice, so I've got the short sockets here. With that all the way in, you're not going to get that in with this terminal here. So it's always best to try and use a long socket or a through socket. So once you've loosened them, you can pretty much just come back along with your socket. And remove the glow plug. Put all the four glow plugs out here now, so we'll go along, make sure all the threads are nice and clean, nothing's going to Spur us up and we'll uh, get the new glow plugs fitted. So we've got our new Bosch glow plug here. So the first thing you want to do is we compare to the straight up with your old glow plug. So my new Bosch one here and then the old genuine Nissan one. So there'll be a couple of differences. You can see the thread is in a different position, but the overall length of the glow plug is the most critical part and that's all good there. So the same length all the way over. Another thing you want to just check, it's 11 volts stamped onto this one. And right there we've got another 11 volt stamp there. So always good to just double check all of this before you get it fitted and realize you've got the wrong ones. So. Another good thing to do, um, which I also do like on spark plugs or anything that goes into like the alloy and the housings and two different compounds, is a bit of nickel anti-seize. So you don't need much, so sometimes you can just have enough off the bottom of the cap here. And just a little bit there on the threads. So, on the threads there. And this will help if you ever have to remove them again. They're not going to be in the seize, there's less chances of you stripping and cross-threading the threads so always want to start these by hand don't want to use any sort of sockets rattle guns or anything so just wind it in by hand to the firm do all the four and then we'll come along and tension it to the correct torque spec and so uh, each torque spec will be different for different vehicles so once again always refer back to your service manual um, to make sure you're doing the correct torque so over tightening um, a glow plug will cause damage to either one the glow plug or internally inside the engine so um, you'll find that they can crimp up down this end hit the piston or just strip the thread in here so always follow those torque specs and um, get it torqued up to correct go along and fit the rest with the anti seize and we'll um, go from there all right so now i've got the glow plugs all in by hand i'm going to come along with the torque wrench now, 
Well, again, it's a nice torque wrench that we sell here at Online Auto Parts. There's a couple of uh, different options. There's your half inch, your 3.8 and your quarter. Um, so with the 3.8, they start at about 19 newton meters and go up to about 100 newton meters. Um, the half inch one starts at a lot higher. So to do glow plugs, they're roughly normally around about 15 to 20 newton meters, depending on what sort of vehicle they can be higher. Um, so you always need the smaller um, tension wrench. So got the, the torque wrench, a deep socket. Alright, so we've gone along now, tensioned these all back up. So it's just refollowing the same procedure again. Once again, refer back to your manual. All these little nuts. Once again, these all have torque specs as well. So the last thing you want to do is over tighten one of these. So it'll actually break the internal part of the um, glow plug and just you're stuck them back to square one again. So yeah, long. Well, they put all these insulators back on obviously because this is positive and this is negative so you don't want anything falling and touching this and then touching that at the same time because you will have arc sparks and it's more than likely going to blow fuses somewhere so yeah so that's the four glow plugs replaced now this is once again only a, a general procedure um, obviously each vehicle can be a lot different um, depending on where they're located um, and what they where they are on the vehicle so um, always refer back to your manual. Um, um, you'll find all these parts and tools available at onlineautoparts.com.au